Hey guys, Thunder E here, and we're taking a look at Windows 10 Pro technical preview with Cortana. Uh, this has a lot of the features that we saw at Microsoft's announcement on Wednesday. It's available now for download. You can go ahead and download it uh, and install if you choose to. Again, this is still a technical preview. It's not uh, finalized. It's also necessarily not the consumer preview, but it brings a lot of consumer features, which of course Cortana is included. Um, and if you're already running the technical preview and you want to update to this version, just go to the settings and uh, hit uh, download new preview and it will actually update and install the preview for you. So Cortana is here and actually resi resides here at the bottom in the search bar here and uh, you can activate Cortana by either typing in or of course you can use action phrases like hey Cortana and uh, she will actually pop up. So I can go hey Cortana what is the weather? Right now it's 31 and raining. Okay, so she's giving me the weather and uh, she can give you personal information just like Cortana is on your smartphone, but you have it here on your on your desktop, in your tablet or, or your PC or your you know laptop, whichever whichever device of course will be running Windows 10. You can go ahead and customize Cortana to a certain degree. So you can actually go into the settings here and you can customize the suggestions, what Cortana calls you, um, if she can call you by name, uh, detect tracking info like uh, travel info and things like that from your email uh, you can also have um, use a catchphrase to you know um, call Cortana which is of course hey Cortana and then you can go into the notebook and see all the different things that you have Cortana actually tracking for you like your finance food news all the sports teams and you can add more things there so very similar to the setup in your in your um, on the Windows phone. Now, this is what Cortana is tracking for me right now. So basically, in just discovering new places to eat, uh, some sports, some travel information, uh, my team Arsenal's playing tomorrow, look at the heat and the bulls, I'm tracking those teams, uh, and some news there. So those are the things that Cortana does for you. But the really cool thing is that you have Cortana now with voice activation. So, you know, if you have like a webcam, it will use the mic of the webcam. If it's a built-in microphone uh, on your laptop, it will use that so you can use Cortana to do different things like you know play movies uh, play music as long as those libraries are attached so I might I can easily say hey Cortana play some music sure thing playing your music so it would open up uh, media player, but it's not going to play any music because I don't have actual my music in the music folder, the the standard music folder for uh, for Windows. But you see, it can actually do those things for you. So you can actually play music, pause, and things like that. So uh, that is a nice feature, and I would like to see that grow. There's some parts that still don't work too well, but again, you know, this is still technical preview. This is not the final uh, product here. Now moving on to some of the other features you'll find if you go into the the new start start you know start screen or start menu uh it's a little bit more streamlined so you can see my name is here on the top left hand corner and then then you can see the power button here the power option now has sleep shut down restarts on the right hand side and you can expand the start menu um to basically full screen which is what it will look in tablet mode so this is what the tablet mode will actually look like here for you and then you can go ahead and see uh, a couple of things here now on the left hand side underneath my name you have places which actually has file explorer documents and setting i don't know why it's called places but those are the three things that are set there um, you can go ahead and move them around if you choose most used applications then you have your recent added applications then you have all all applications and this is of course in alph alphabetical order and it's much easier to find so if you're looking for something on the G or A you can go ahead to any of those alphabets and find those or you can just search for the application and you can still go ahead and pin, uh, pin things to the start uh, start uh, the taskbar the start menu and uh, things like that so you do have that and then you can expand applications make them bigger resize smaller whatever you choose so you can either have it this way this is what a tablet mode would look like or this is your regular mode and that's what they've done with the stop menu it's a nice simple uh, layout for you there something that uh, works 
pretty well and I think a lot of people will like uh, that use altogether. Now another new thing is with the charms. Now if this is a tablet or say something like the Surface, you know your charms usually pop up here on the right hand side. Not anymore. That's where the action center actually pops out. So the action center is actually here. Now you can swipe if this was a swipe from right to left if this was a tablet but I'm going to hit the new notifications for action center and once I tap that it looks like that's actually fidgeting with me it's not actually functioning well right now so we'll move away from that for a second since for some reason the action center just kind of went kaput so again this is a technical preview you do have things like that so let's look at a couple other things let's look at the new settings now they talked about that and how the settings menu has changed and that's very important because this is what the settings menu looks like now on windows uh, you no longer have that two settings you know uh, structure where you had um, the uh, the new windows 8 uh, 8 or 8.1 style settings and then something else like your traditional settings everything is all in one place so you know if you go into systems here you can see all your system settings from display notification cortana search um, storage sense all the way down to if you want to put it on tablet mode or not um, original features so on and so forth um, devices look for new devices typing mouse uh, add new devices you can see all the devices are connected to my uh, my pc here network settings are all in the same place so you can go for Wi-Fi settings Ethernet show available you can go to advanced settings network sharing center which still has the old look but I'm sure as they move forward they will actually update this continually and then um, we go back you have personalizations for background uh, and as well as lock screen uh, accounts uh, and then you have uh, time and language which you can actually change here and um, and then you have ease of access you do have privacy and then of course update and recovery is in one section you can actually set re restart schedule for updates and things like that so uh, my updates are actually set so that's the new new um settings menu which is nice it, it it does a good job making a clean layout for you to use which is very very good i do like that um about it now let's see if our notifications pop up there we go so uh our action center is up this is what the action center looks like it pops up from right to left for you so you can go from right to left if you're using the tablet you swipe from right to left and that pops out and what you have here all your notifications you can see here um this is one for uh, one drive i need to set up uh this is also so just some Windows feedback um, options there. Uh, you have some new applications that you've installed. It's told you that you can X any of those or clear all if you choose to. Um, you can also expand some of this. So you do have you still have some of those settings options in there. So you have location, uh, VPN, Wi-Fi. This is the desktop PC, so there's no Wi-Fi. We can also bring up display, which would take us right to our settings menu. So you do have some of those things pop out. You also have connections, which would take us to uh, connecting devices if we are trying to locate new devices to add and then of course all settings which would take this take us right here to the settings menu which is already open so you have all that there which is nice a very simple way but I think I like the imp implementation they've done here and it's good to see that um, and hopefully you know it improves as we move forward the other new thing is the uh, update to the you know the Xbox app so this is what the new Xbox app looks like as you can see they showed that there are a couple of features are still not there there's no game DVR uh, yet um, and of course there's no Xbox streaming uh, but you can see how updated it is now if you want to follow me on Xbox or uh, add me it's Thunder Emperor right there spelled with threes instead of E's and you can see just the layout here is just a little more streamlined seeing all the things you can go ahead and message your friends and actually talk to them uh, as you see fit you can go ahead and uh, uh, see all the alerts that you have from different friends uh, who've added you or things like that um, you can see who your friends are online as you can see that right there you can search for people right away and go ahead and add them head back home but you can see how nice and streamlined everything is so looking at recent progress from my games uh, activity feed from friends and what they are doing right now you can see uh, King Assassin 98 is play just played some uh, some WWE uh, 2k15 you can look at achievements who I am I, I I don't play as much as I should um, you know things like that so you do have that um, there uh, you have all of those things there and waiting for you so that's the new Xbox app and they've done a decent job with that so I do like all those different feature sets and I think I think Microsoft has done a good job in placing 
uh, some a nice nice key updates on with Windows 10. The updates they've done to the UI in terms of some of the things you traditionally see in Windows, like your folder. So there's a folder here I, I call Cortana. You can see the different, more flat look to uh, the folder UI. And then if we open up a, a folder here, or File Explorer, it actually opens up what we call Quick Access, or Microsoft calls Quick Access. So it basically shows you, you can see the different UI changes to how downloads look and all the different folders, even your desktop look looks it's a flat more flat flat design almost like material design if you will and then it shows you recent 20 files some of the files you've actually accessed on your device here so uh, that is that is nice it's a different look and feel everything looks different icon wise even you know this PC looks different if you go in here you can see some of your you know different folders some some things some icons haven't changed yet but I'm sure they will release an icon pack or at least um, uh, um, some of that UI uh, interface for the Metro icon packs uh, that they will have in the future and that will be interesting to see how that actually pans out but just 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 a quick look at some of the different features in terms of um, uh, UI changes so this is giving you guys just a, a look at, at Windows 10 uh, Pro technical preview with Cortana, how Cortana functions. Again, that's a work in progress. And also some of the new features with the update to the Action Center, the update to the Start menu, uh, the new, the update to the Xbox app itself, even though not all the features are there, but the more design update. And also this is a more stable build. I've used it for a full day. Uh, it just feels like it runs better, less glitches. You can still run old applications. I have Steam open up here. I played some games. I was playing some uh, Arkham Origin just a little bit. Uh, but it, it it all works so that's pretty much it guys if you have any questions or any comments let me know otherwise don't forget to like this video share this video and favor this video um, it, don't forget to subscribe to the channel and always enjoy your entertainment